When it gets really bad, like your start, your chest starts to hurt really bad from coughing so much. Your throat hurts. You're just sick and tired of all of it. You just want to be better. Pertussis is a respiratory illness that's caused by a bacteria. It can range in symptoms from very mild to very severe. Pertussis is also known as whooping cough. People cough so hard they, they can't catch their breath, and so then when they're done coughing, they kind of inhale and have this whooping sound. Um, some people cough so hard that they break ribs, and some people, especially infants, need to be hospitalized if they have pertussis. It's caused by the bacteria Bordetella pertussis. It is spread from person to person through coughing mostly. There was a pertussis outbreak in Dane County in Wisconsin in 2012. There seemed to be cycles of pertussis outbreaks every three to four years or so. I went on vacation for a week. It seemed like I was getting a cold, but throughout the week of vacation, it got worse and worse. There are three stages of pertussis. Catarrhal stage is basically mild cold-like symptoms, maybe a mild cough, runny nose. It seemed like a normal cough, seemed like I was just having a cold. People don't think pertussis right away, they don't go to the doctor. They probably keep going to work and school because they think it's just a cold, but during that time they're contagious. I thought I had a cold and then it got more persistent and more annoying, and it was like really dry. Where pertussis kind of differentiates itself is that it continues to get more severe. As the illness progresses into the paroxysmal stage, you develop a more severe cough. People can have these paroxysms of coughing, which is just repeated coughing where they can't stop. The day I got back from Mexico, it was so bad that my mom had to take me to the doctor right away that day. My chest would start to hurt really bad from coughing so much. And it hurt to eat because your like, throat and chest hurt so bad, so swallowing hurt. The open cough lasted probably about four to five weeks, and I was isolated from everyone for two weeks, no school, no anything. And that can last anywhere from you know, up to eight weeks, maybe. Even then, you know, people might think they have bronchitis, and sometimes they'll go into the doctor and they get diagnosed with a, a viral illness. Once the doctors confirmed that I did have whooping cough, I was isolated for two weeks. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to sleep and cough. After that, you kind of move into the recovery phase where you start your symptoms start to get better. From there, it just got better and better each day. It can take a couple months before people feel completely better. Pertussis can be treated with antibiotics. Um, usually it's just a five-day course. Unfortunately, the antibiotics really only help with the symptoms if they're given early in illness, um, when most people don't even think pertussis. But then later they're given to basically make them not contagious. We recommend that people um, diagnosed with pertussis stay home until they've been treated for five days. Until they've taken five days of antibiotics, we consider them to be contagious. I couldn't go around anyone. My brothers actually had to sleep like three floors down from where I was because they were so annoyed by it. It's a burden on families and, and individuals. So there are two immunizations for pertussis. Both vaccines are effective. They're the best way to prevent pertussis, but they're not 100%. We see cases of pertussis in people who are immunized, unfortunately. It's not airborne. So if you cough, it's not going to hang out in the air. You have to have pretty close contact with someone to get pertussis. And what we really worry about is spread to infants. Since they don't really develop immunity until six months of age, even if they're being immunized on, on schedule, we try to create a cocoon around the, the infant of people who are protected against pertussis. We recommend that all people who live in a household with an infant receive pertussis vaccine. Um, all people who will be in contact with infants receive pertussis vaccines. Grandparents, daycare providers, babysitters, you know, anyone who's gonna have contact with that infant. And then there are some pretty recent recommendations from the CDC that recommend that women get immunized during each pregnancy. There are two reasons to do that. One is to prevent the mother from getting pertussis in the first place. And then the second is the hope that as she develops antibodies to that vaccine, that some of them will be passed on to the baby before it's born. Just having that education will get people into the um, doctor earlier, get diagnosed earlier, and prevent some spread.